Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about the AI Quick Mask tool inside On Run Photo Raw 2019. So with this photo, I want to use the AI Quick Mask tool to quickly create a mask around our subject so that we can replace the background. And then we'll go in and add different filters and local adjustments to stylize, all while using the AI Quick Mask tool. So to grab the Quick Mask tool, simply hit W on your keyboard or you can head over to where your masking brush option is. You click on it, and it's going to live right next to your masking bug here. So to begin with the AI Quick Mask tool, simply brush in red the areas that you want to remove from your mask. Then, hold down your Option key, or Alt if you're on Windows, and then brush in the areas that you want to keep. The AI Quick Mask tool is going to use AI technology to detect different color and tonal range differences so that it easily creates a mask for you. Once you have it painted on the way you want it, simply head up to Apply. you'll see it does a great job of creating that mask for us. There's a couple different areas in here that we need to clean up though. This area right here in between her arms and also this area right here by her leg. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we did before. I'm just gonna brush this red right here, over here, and then over by her leg. So there we go, the new AI Quick Mask tool has created our basic mask outline for us. Now let's click Done, and now we can go in and modify, refine, or change our mask if we want to. So now if we head into our masking options in our layer here, and we view this mask, we can see it quickly created a mask for us for the outline of our subject. Now we have the same masking capabilities as we had before with all of the other masks inside On One Photo Raw. We can play with the density of our mask. We can play with the feathering of the mask. We can copy and paste this mask. We can also refine the mask if we'd like. I'm just gonna view my photo again. And let's say I wanna refine her hair a little bit. I'm gonna head over to my refine tools here. Make sure I have my refine brush selected. And I'm gonna set it to paint in. And now I'll just refine this mask a little bit to add a little bit more of her hair into the photo. There we go. So now that we've masked our subject the way we want to, I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to grab my move tool. And I'm just going to rotate our subject a little bit to remove some of that excess mask on the bottom. And then I'm just going to drag her over a little bit. There we go. And now let's add a new backdrop for our subject. I'm going to head over and add a new layer. And I'm just going to add this stylistic wall here. I'll just head over to this layers pane here. I'll drag this new wall layer below our subject. And voila, we've quickly replaced our backdrop for our subject. So now that we've used the AI Quick Mask tool to replace our background, let's use it to add in different filters and local adjustments. So I'm just gonna head into the effects tab here. And I'm just gonna add a filter. And I'm going to add some dynamic contrast to bring in some nice detail. I like how that looks on her hair and on the towel and on her shirt here, but I don't like how that looks on her skin. So I'm just gonna grab my AI Quick Mask tool by hitting W on my keyboard. And I'm just going to repeat the same process as before, but just excluding her skin from the mask. So I'm just gonna brush it all over her face here and on her skin area over here. And then I'll hold down Option or Alt on Windows, and I'll just brush on the areas that I want the dynamic contrast applied to. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit Apply. 
So there we go. It's done a great job of finding those areas we want to have detail and keeping the skin out of the way. Let's go in and click Done. And now if we go down to our dynamic contrast filter, I'm just gonna turn it on to Surreal. So now if I turn this off and on, you'll see it's only being applied to her shirt, her hair, and the towel there, and not being applied to her skin. So now that we've created this mask, we can use it for other things, like local adjustments. So I'm just going to head into my masking options, and I'm going to copy this mask. Now I'm just going to head into my local adjustments tab. Now let's say I want to add in a little bit of light to our model's skin here. I can head down into this local adjustment layer. I'm going to select lighten. And then I'm just going to go into the masking options here. And I'm going to paste that mask. You'll see that's being applied to the towel and the shirt and her hair because that's where we had the mask before. Let's go ahead and hit invert. And now we can play with the opacity just to bring in a little bit more light to our model's skin. Now it matches the background a little bit better and we have a stylized photo simply by using the AI quick mask tool. So that's a quick way to add in style and local adjustments and also how to replace backgrounds all while using the AI quick mask tool inside Onward Photo Raw 2019.